In 1996, my reality began to shift. Rent came out on Broadway, and it was the first time I started hearing people talk openly about AIDS, especially being 16 and living in a conservative rural community. My life really changed, though, when one day a prison nurse called my house looking to speak with my grandparents, who I lived with. I took the call as if I were my grandfather. The nurse disclosed to me that my mother had a life-threatening disease. Of course she couldn't spell it out for me, but I understood what she was saying. I knew she had AIDS and may very well die never seeing me again. For a decade, I kept this secret from my family. AIDS just wasn't something our family talked about. In 2005, my mother returned from prison, but her health was failing, so I could no longer keep it a secret. Most of my family was afraid of getting HIV from my mother. She was kept isolated from guests and was limited to her own dishes and bathroom. They just weren't comfortable touching her in any way. So I began teaching my family about AIDS so they could support her in regaining her health and remaining stable. But most of all, I just wanted her to feel loved again. Over time, attitudes have changed and ignorance has been educated and my mother is happy and thriving. Telling my story has become very important to me. This disease can affect anyone, even my mother and our family though we are not the stereotypical face of AIDS. I support AIDS Walk New York and GMHC because of the money they raise. They use it for outreach, prevention, life-saving programs and services, and education. These things are our best hope for a cure for now. Thank you for making a difference in the lives of people like my mother and my family by making your donation today. Every life deserves hope.